Welcome to the Cutting Edge Cosplay Podcast, where your fellow geek girls hang out and talk all things cosplay. I am one of your hosts, Danny, and I'll start us off with our host introductions and how we all met each other. So I really like anime, and I like to play board games and video games and reading fantasy, and I do some, I dabble in some cosplay here and there. But I would uh, definitely say I'm still in the beginner phase. Um, our next host, this one next to me here. So this is Thunder Bunny SFX. And she has been getting into special effects and mixing that in with her cosplay. But we go way back. We, I actually can't remember when we met because we're probably in strollers when we met. <laughs> so... Uh, both of our dads were in bands together, and they also went to a science fiction and fantasy convention called Norwestcon, and they would take us along, and we would just hang out and attempt at some cosplays-ish. I mean, so I personally was more into, I guess, costuming, but at the same time, I'm kind of a quieter person, um, and Danny was very like my extrovert friend and so she would just kind of like dress me up and like we'd run around and apparently I would be super silent like the whole weekend which was kind of weird and I (laughs) talked enough for both of us so that was okay um until the end of the weekend when I would just not stop talking about how awesome the weekend was um which probably was kind of scary to Danny Um, it was I was like who is this person (laughs) what I didn't know you could talk. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Um, But yeah, so we um, we definitely grew up together um, with our nerdy families that would do all this fantasy and sci-fi stuff. Um, Danny was definitely more into like books and anime and all kinds of stuff. Um, I grew up with more of um, a horror and slash Disney background, which is kind of an odd combination. Mm. um but (laughs) my dad would always have these like schlocky old horror movie um nights um where we would just watch like b-level movies or much worse um Mm -hmm. and but my dad was very into um special effects and he used to make um masks and stuff and all kinds of things and that was a huge impact on me um Danny ended up moving um, out of state for a while after we had been super close for decades. I'm sorry. And, <laughs> um, of course, being that quieter person, she, um, I think she felt like she needed to take care of me and hand me off to another extrovert to keep me. Got to take care of your own, you know. Out, <laughs> I guess. Um, I had met bears at a pub, St. Patrick's Day. And we started talking and we had lots in common and cosplay was definitely one of those things that we talked about. It was kind of nuts because it was almost everything we did was we had the same hobbies, we had the same interests, we had like probably other than the anime thing, we were just like checking boxes left and right. We were like, how have we not met, how have we not run into each other on accident before? Like oh, St. Patrick's Day of all days is when we met. That's unbelievable. I love that. <laughs> so yeah, when I had moved out of state, I they had they had I had introduced them before, but I was definitely pushing Bunny to go hang out with bears. And I was like, "You're really gonna like her. You guys have a lot in common too." And luckily, they hit it off. So bears wouldn't stop inviting me to things, which was great because... Be my friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was always, like, I had weird schedule with work and everything, and but she never gave up on me. And um, she would invite me to things that she knew that I would be interested in. So, like, a Disney trivia night where, like, let's dress up. Why not? So I had an old Alice in Wonderland costume that I wore and um, that made it super fun and we kind of started to connect then. But I think where we really like realized we were each other's people was (laughs) um, at a Disney cocktail party that she threw. And um, 
somehow things turned into a Nerf war and Ooh. I was dressed as Tinkerbell and I ended out under a table as cover. Um, <laughs> just shooting everyone I could, super competitive. And I think that was kind of the moment where we just like... Connected. It was an all out war. So I yeah. threw a cocktail party because I like having people over and I like having fun and I like dressing up. And so I invited everybody who I knew who might like Disney and I had found this list of Disney themed cocktails. And so we kind of divvied up of everybody who was coming would bring different ingredients. And so we had a bunch of different cocktails to try. Oh, was everybody so was dressed up. We had cosplayers. We had regular people. We had photographers. <laughs> regular <laughs> people. Those regular people. Those normies. <laughs> Hey, I mean, I was probably considered one of those because I wasn't like in cosplay yet. I was more like at the time, just costuming. but your Tinkerbell was <laughs> spot on. That you, was an old Halloween costume. <laughs> so turns out she looks vibe. exactly like Tinkerbell in real life. So it, it was fine. <laughs> so um, we had actually been collecting Nerf guns for our wedding. Um, not us. Oh. <laughs> oh. Someone else. Down. I married someone else. Um, <laughs> I just didn't meet you in time. I, know. <laughs> I get it. It's not me. It's you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> but I had a huge stockpile of Nerf guns for that reason. And I had lots and lots of Nerf bullets for that same reason. And so we kind of just brought them out. And my entire house turned into a battlefield. And wow. it was so much it was fun. Perfect. Like you've... It, it was after the, the perfect amount of alcohol and everything, too, mm -hmm. where everyone, like, I brought a drink called The Lost Boy, which was this gorgeous bright green drink that matched Tinkerbell and uh, glitter. There was glitter yeah. in everything. It was great. That wow. was the, that party was the first time that I had ever had glitter, edible glitter, I guess, mm -hmm. ever. And now I put it in everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? Just be fabulous. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you're ever having a bad day. One really easy way to just brighten it up is just like a little pink. We'll throw some glitter in your just, iced tea. Just swirl it around a little bit. It's great. Okay. <laughs> a little touch of magic for your the day is fine. sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> You're like salt bay, but with the dust, yeah. like yes. the sparkles. <laughs> oh my God. So I was inviting Bunny to pretty much everything and eventually it stuck. Um, I think the first time we ever cosplayed together was NorwestCon because you guys have gone forever. Oh, mm -hmm. and that was the year where I was... Yang? No. Well, okay. Harley. I was, I Harley. Was, okay, I was Yang one of the days, but I was Harley the other day, and you were Wonder Woman. Yeah. And we have some really cute photos this yeah. year. We'll pop them up right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I was so intimidated, though. So, so okay. So the first time we ever met, we went to Bahama Breeze. And I remember because she walked in and I was like, I need to learn how to do makeup. <laughs> and then afterwards I was like, do you think, Danny, do you think she would teach me? And she was like, yeah, totally. It would be, she would, I'm sure she'd be happy to teach you how to do makeup. And then I didn't ask for a long, long time, but I did ask. Um, <laughs> but, but I didn't start doing makeup until I did cosplay uh so everything about it was a little baffling to me so she walks in just like <laughs> wind blowing <laughs> looking gorgeous and I was like oh no absolutely not I That's don't not think absolutely I feel. not I don't think I can be on friends with these people <laughs> and we're like three drinks in probably at that point <laughs> like Oh, no, that's not her. That's somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's perfect. Is it? Yes. <laughs> it's exactly how it was supposed to be, apparently. Yeah. So then at NorwestCon, like, she's, like, doing her Harley and, like, whitening up and everything. And, like, we're just kind of talking about, like, I had Wonder Woman, but I had, like, a red corset that I had bought somewhere. I had, like, just, like, a bunch of just things that I had bought places. Um, and I was like, oh, where did you get your Harley? And she's like, oh, I made it. <laughs> what <laughs> so that harley was so just thrown together too i like went to like all of the um like cheapest places possible to try and find things that matched in like red and black that 
Yeah. So, and whereas like yours, yours looked more professional to me. Whereas like mine, I was just like, wow, this looks like someone who just kind of like was hoping for the best. Oh, <laughs> no, it looks so good. So, oh, which well, is what we all say. Like, <laughs> we are all like our whole philosophy with any of the cosplays that we do. Yeah. Just mm. hoping for the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It only needs to last for an hour. Like, it's good. Does it look good yep. if you're standing way over there? Five yeah. feet away. Yeah. 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 Oh, shoot. This didn't work out cr- quite right. Let's do this to try and fix it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Put some lace on it. It's good. Yeah. Let's, let's just stitch some Battle damage. Yes. Yeah, it's, 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 fine, it's, fine, it's, fine. it's after she got blown up. <laughs> yeah. <Yes>. Perfect. <laughs> Whereas oh. Wonder Woman over here just looks gorgeous and perfect Pristine. all the time. Yeah. Like, well, so not a from, scratch. <laughs> from all of those different like events that we were all going to, like I got really into cosplay and started going to more like shoots and events and um we had a group of people that was putting together group shots and so I actually met Rebecca at a punk DC shoot and she of course stunning as always is Black Canary yeah debatable though because that was those were the early days (laughs) those were the early days I did Punk Huntress, because so Huntress good. is my favorite yeah. DC character, and you can fight me on it, and <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, I'd rather not fight you I on mean, it. I mean, it was so good. It was so good. Um, and you totally so look like It was too. so cold. It was 20-something that day, I think. It was below freezing. For sure. I know We're I could not feel my toes out. or hands. Yeah. Oh, so no. it's all like, we've got fish nets. And <laughs> oh, no. Not no, gloves, these, least, not maybe? warm. At, there were tights uh-huh. underneath, but okay. there were no amount of tights that were enough. <laughs> Never enough. Okay. <laughs> so cold. Mm-hmm. And so we connected because birds of prey. Mm-hmm. I was like, huh. got it. they, they got it. matched together. And so I was like, at first I was like, oh my God, she's such a good huntress. Uh, hi huntress. Um, <laughs> Can we get some pictures together, maybe? And you're you were like up on this really cool platform, like doing cool shit, and I was just like, I was looking down ah. on the peons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. said As peon, and so I yeah. was just like, <laughs> hello, hi. And so we we did some shots together, and Barris is just so sweet and so hey. nice. And she's like, of course, you need a hand up, and I was just like, <gasps> so it was oh. just, it was so wonderful, and then. We kept seeing each other at <laughs> and we kept seeing each other at different like cosplay events and like out of cosplay events and and then gosh, which con was it when I was getting Rencon. Yossified. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the very first year of Rencon. So it was yeah. It was um I was doing like an SFX demo um as the model for um Cast of Thousand Studios. And so I looked my best, of course. Um, <laughs> as she yes, looked you will gorgeous. See it I looked <laughs> fantastic, my 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 best pictures. And so um we we had already known each other at that point, but it was that we day. We were aware of each other. Yes. It was at that day where we decided that we were going to engage on this endeavor <laughs> of a dance group. We became the best of friends instantly. We did. We were just <laughs> like, well, now we're in it. Yeah. We're <laughs> we're dedicated. And so we had the KDA pop stars video had just dropped, which was a very iconic moment from league of legends, Um, from league of legends. Yeah. So league of legends essentially brought together four characters and made them like a K-pop group kind of thing. Um, so there was a video, there was choreography, there was, it was everything. Um, and the video was so good. And we were, we were like both into cosplay and it was born from that moment. Yeah. So we had, the first three people were pretty set. Yep. But we were just like racking our brains for an Ari. Because um, we couldn't just do three out of four. No, that wasn't can't. for KDA, that was not going it's to It's impossible. Make sense. Yeah. yeah. No. And so I didn't know that you really cosplayed at that point, but you I've, look exactly <laughs> like Ari. I had long Absolutely. hair at the time, so it, so, it fit. <laughs> so I was looking yeah. at it and I was like, we were, we had a, done a, like a little dance practice. So it was like the, First three people were like pretending we knew how to dance, <laughs> and then Trying we were just kind of hanging out in the apartment, <laughs> like, like, oh, who should should we ask this person? Should we ask this person? And I was like, it's like a weird kickball situation of like, would you pick them <laughs> for your team? <laughs> Quite right, <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, not that person. Yeah, <laughs> <a moment. laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, you guys don't know this girl, but trust me on this. Should I ask her? And everyone was like. <gasps> 
yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was an easy yes. And so then I very nervously texted you. I was like, yeah. So I got a, I got this message from Barry. So it's just like, so I know you used to dance when you were like in high school and stuff. Like, and you look exactly like this person. Would you be interested? And I was just like, hell yes, I would. Like, <laughs> um, I know all about the game. Like, that's a super cute character. Like, yeah, sure. Nerd. I can do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nerd uh, alert. <laughs> I was just like, and it would be easy. I wouldn't need a wig or anything. <laughs> like, yes. I can do this. And, um, to be honest, though, like, I was kind of intimidated, though, because, like, all of you guys, like, had these super awesome costumes, and I, like, made myself stuff from stuff I found from Goodwill, and I just, like, altered, like... Oh, girl, no. <laughs> My first outfit... You had more of a cosplay together before I did, okay. because the first time that we actually got together like in costume to dance was at the after party for was Emerald it Sakura City. Con or Emerald City one of the two I think it was Sakura Con it might have been yes I'm pretty sure yes because we did yeah. it again for Emerald City when we actually had our oh, show that's together right. that's and right. so yeah. for Sakura Con you looked adorable Aww. I had no <laughs> costume I had the wig and I had like the little crown thing in the claws <laughs> But that costume, was all you needed, though. Yeah. The like costume everything hadn't come else, in yet. and oh, so I just no. had like a black crop top. It was fine, okay. but it was just like a black crop top and a black mini skirt, like bodycon mini skirt, and that was it. <laughs> I was like, I mean, you oh, just make it work adjacent yeah. enough. Um, I mean, I didn't, I hadn't made my pauldrons yet, so it was just like, so the top was actually made out of like. I think it was a swim cover up or something. Nice, and it was an extra <laughs> nice. large too, and I cut off like seven eighths of this shirt <laughs> just to like make this like cute little crop top thing that's my problems <laughs> and like i just kind of threw things together i was just like wow everyone has like all these really nice costumes and i was just like well good enough like and my ears i made the ears for ari and my dog i have a husky and he so he was jealous and he decided to steal it from me and kind of chew up one of the ears. <gasps> so I don't think I knew this. Yes. That's so, amazing. So one of and the, awful at the same time, but like it's amazing. <laughs> it's funny now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny um, now. I think it was actually the ear that has like the little fake um earring, earring yeah. that I made out of um paper clip and duct tape. <laughs> um, I love that. I love that. <laughs> but but that was the side that he like all drooled up and like kind of crumpled and I had to like kind of reshape it. It has like a pipe cleaner on the inside that I had to like try and like straighten back up for mm -hmm. our like little dance party thing for um Sakura Khan. Mm -hmm. Um so that was also kind of embarrassing too, but I'm glad you didn't notice. So. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. But, yeah. <laughs> and then one of our members moved away. And so now we had another spot we needed to fill. And Bears comes up and she's like, so I know you haven't met her yet. But <laughs> there's this beautiful, beautiful girl, like model status beautiful, quote unquote. I'm serious. Absolutely. That's exactly how she presented it. That just moved back. Yep. That just Danny, came back. Danny, have you seen yourself? She's super cool. And you guys would get along really well because we're all nerds and it would be great. And I think she should be our Kaisa. <laughs> And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm down. Let's go. And and I so, had no idea what League of Legends really was. I had no idea who <laughs> Kaisa was. And I was like, OK, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. The thing, you know, for our friends to hang out. And, you know, I I think I had the costume before I even knew who she was. And I just like put it on. I was like, what do I do? Who is this person? Now what? What? Just in the void. It's I crazy. also it don't know that you knew how into it we all are. I did not. That was a surprise. I didn't even. It's not casual. I didn't uh, even it's know. It's not casual. I did not see the music video. I didn't hear the music. I have. I was like newbie, extreme newbie, had no idea what I was getting myself into. Um, and then after kind of, I, yeah, for the first photo shoot, I made the costume because it was like a fan yep. photo costumes that we all did. And so so then fun. I started getting yeah. into it, like watching, I got like watching all the music videos and I haven't played the game yet, but I, I don't know actually if I will, cause it's hard Honestly, and I'm kind of bad at video okay. games, but yeah, it's a really I hard game. I wrecked <laughs> my computer playing that game. <laughs> my mouse sensitivity will never be the same ever. I just, no, I literally destroyed my computer. And <laughs> Did you throw it? <laughs> 
Did I got you? real frustrated. <laughs> what? Do you have gamer rage? <laughs> Not usually, but the fucking <laughs> game. I mean, okay, Le- League of Legends is a special kind of game that does it's pull the worst kind of out game. of a lot of people, and it, oh it's God. really hard. I mean, the first so, person I tried to play was Nidalee, and oh, that, okay. oh my gosh. <sighs> <laughs> Thoughts um, on that. Yeah, I, I didn't make it very far. I was meaning <laughs> severe mostly. Um... I don't learn very fast. I'm not a fast learner. (laughs) Um, And everyone who plays has played since the game came out pretty much. And I did did start pretty late. And I can't keep track of all the things that you have to keep track of in that game. But I still tried. And so I was playing like hours and hours every day. Um, I had a friend who would like Skype with me while we were playing and he would kind of like give me hints of what to buy and oh, things like that as okay. we were playing because I didn't have a dual setup or anything like that. Yeah. Um. And so we would be playing together and like I was trying to use my little like QWERTY things and there wasn't, okay, I'm sure that they were working as intended, <laughs> but it wasn't right when I hit the button, wasn't right when it was, attacking uh-huh. okay and Here. we were <laughs> not quite losing but not close to winning either oh, I mean, <laughs> and to be fair this is like a professional sport in some countries it's an know. e-sport so, yeah yeah 100 percent. i mean there's it's complicated it's hard. <laughs> but i had my friend was yelling in my ear i was in the middle of a combat that i felt confident in but i was somehow losing and i was like just go (laughs) and I was playing on a laptop and I hit Uh so many times so hard that like I was like rage 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 seeing red and then I saw blue (gasps) like the blue screen of death oh no (laughs) there's the structo bear so I got a phone call (laughs) I was like what the fuck just happened? I was like, I don't think I can play anymore. <laughs> oh, no. You quit cold do I do? turkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you literally could not play anymore. Oh my god! Not my choice. Yeah. So I definitely rage quit that game and never picked it back up. But bringing mm. it back to KDA. So mm. we invited Danny in. We shot. We had a blast. We kept going. And this was one of your first cosplay-ish endeavors? Um, it's the first cosplay that was, no, I made, so I made the first one for Kaisa, but then they very nicely gifted me then the costume for the next shoot that we did. We're like, and that was for pop stars. Keep doing this for yeah. us. <laughs> so that was for pop stars. We need Got you. Got voluntold yeah. to do it. Yeah. And uh, so that was the first cosplay that was bought. Because usually, we're going to talk about our cosplay stuff in a bit, but I would just throw things together minimal hand sewing, maybe some spray paint on an accessory or something. And that was like the extent of any sort of cosplay that I did. So this was like an, a legit character, a legit costume, like to the T what it actually looked like, not just my interpretation of it. Um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, that's like my first legit character. And I like that it's a gaming character. Um, Cause I am kind of getting out of anime. I'm just busy and it's hard to watch anime series that are There's seasons long yeah. and every single it's season of the year, there's like 600 more shows coming out and I'm kind of just like stuck in the nineties with the anime stuff. So are you I, team sub or team dub? Um, sub, I guess. Like, cause I took Japanese. Oh, really? I yeah, know yeah, you yeah, did too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I like listening to it and I like, cause I can recognize some stuff and I don't mind I like reading too. I feel like I understand things better reading than listening anyways. So they'll probably look down on me because I'm more. Um, That's okay. <laughs> I don't look down on no one. I like to be distracted own. by the words when I'm like seeing the action. Mm-hmm. But That's plus fair. I've gotten to really like a lot of the American voice actors too. Mm, so like, you know, you get like an attachment to certain people. Yeah, because there's like a group of 10 of them. And (laughs) And you memorize them. This is all my, and this is this is my. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I feel like when it's anime, if it's dubbed, it's a different story than if it's like live action. Because that's the the non-tracking throws me off. But if it's anime, yeah, it works. I never got into anime. I don't, like I've seen a couple, but it just, I didn't grow up watching very many 
cartoons, I guess, in general. Like, I still haven't seen Batman animated series or anything like that. It was Sailor That's Moon funny. and Dragon Ball Z. I hear great things. Yeah. I just have never. Dragon Ball Z is Sailor Moon. Yeah. Yeah, so like, I after didn't... school, watching that every day after and it was on tv so that's kind of like pokemon dragon I Ball Z pokemon. Mm-hmm. and sailor moon were like the like what we everybody in my friend group watched um Except and then just kind of kept you didn't you watch didn't pokemon? watch pokemon no i mean i collected some of the cards but i never really watched it it wasn't until more like the last maybe year or two that i finally started watching pokemon um it's been like the last maybe Five years since I've started watching like Dragon Ball and Dragon mm-hmm. Ball Z, and mm-hmm. I'm still like in the like cell saga <laughs> of Dragon Ball Z. But um, and I never got into Sailor Moon, mm-hmm. which is funny because like Danny would always like shove all this anime stuff like down my throat, <laughs> and I didn't like it. But like I've slowly like progressed into like you're just getting more open minded. <laughs> so I don't think yeah, it's I think anime is hard to just get into like randomly. Like I was like. We've been going to conventions our whole lives. Like my dad randomly gave me a Pikachu sticker before Pokemon was even a thing in the US. I got like a Sailor Saturn poster before she even was a, like on the the show, like like probably a year or two before she even showed up as a character in the United States. So I had like very early access to anime and stuff. So I mean, I was just kind of raised like with it. So I think that's probably why mm-hmm. I was like my go-to form of entertainment was just more anime. <laughs> Gaming <laughs> is where it's at now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Borderlands. Oh, my gosh. I have so many ideas for cosplay from Borderlands. Nevada. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be really that cool. That would be super cool. Someday. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I joined their KDA adventures, and I really like it. I think Kaisa is a good fit for me. I think, actually, all of our characters are really good fits for our personalities and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty fun. So that's our little group that we have. Um, and I've tried to learn the dance a little bit. Oh I've only God. practiced once. but We're going to uh, – if you follow us on Patreon, that's where we'll have the video of us all dancing once we all know the dance. Yeah. But you got to give encouragement. Yes, <laughs> For your eyes only. Yeah. <laughs> um. Danny, what was your first cosplay? My first cos okay. My first cosplay was kind of dirty. It was <gasps> surprise, surprise. Anime related. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, like I said, with my my cosplaying stuff, I would just throw like outfits together, and, and it kind of had generally like a theme, mm-hmm. and that would be like my costume, my cosplay for the the thing. But my aunt had helped me so this costume um, that was from a manga called Clover by the group of girls um, called Clamp. They're sadly no longer a thing anymore. Um, and the main, the character was, I think her name was Sue. We'll post a picture on screen. And it was so cool. And, but yeah, I was like, I read tons of manga and I just thought this character was super cute. And it was like this black gloves and like this like, kind of like sleeveless robe thing that was white with gold trim. And yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. So that was probably my first like cosplay, but I was really shy also like then. And my dad was like trying to get me to get photos and stuff because at NorwestCon, it was, it's a big thing. Once you, if you have a costume, you go on stage and you kind of present it and stuff. They have a full masquerade and Mm -hmm. everything. Like Saturday is the big costume day. Like it's, and exciting for people who don't normally dress up to like watch other people's costumes. They would even like, post like have it on TV. Like if well, you're yeah. in your room, like you couldn't make it into the like masquerade um, ballroom to watch the thing live. You could just like watch it on TV. Yeah, they had wow. con TV essentially. It was like three channels where they would run like all these like science fiction and fantasy themed movies and then there would also be another one that would show like the masquerade and all the masquerades from previous years and other things like that and it was really cool so I was shy so I actually don't have a photo of me in that I think I like I put it on we did all this hard work of creating it and I just was I just couldn't do it I was I I don't remember how old I was but I was pretty young um and then I didn't really do any like serious like 
actual people cosplays until probably like I was like 18 or something. And it was a uh, sigh from magic users club, which is like another like weird nineties anime. <laughs> and <laughs> the coolest part about this costume though, is that she, so she's a witch in high school. Cause everyone's in high school in anime and true. <laughs> she has a, a duck staff. That's, I can't remember if it's her magic wand or if that's actually like her broomstick. It's been a few years since I've watched wait, it. Wait, it's like duck staff. I will post a, Oh, actually I have a picture on my phone, but I'll okay. post a picture. <laughs> <laughs> but, above. <laughs> yeah. oh, so it's like a staff that has a duck on the end. Yep. And I Cute. had so much fun <laughs> Cute. painting that duck <laughs> and just putting it. It was really difficult oh to attach God. it to a staff. And the staff was actually really heavy. <laughs> I was like running around with this like giant duck. Like, yeah, it was fun. Okay. That was another costume that I put together the night before and I didn't sleep at all. I just put it together the night before SakuraCon. I mean, that's kind of how most cosplays work, right? Is it even yeah. cosplay if you aren't doing something yeah. the night before? Yeah. Yeah. And I Who hand sewed like three hours of sleep or more. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? And I drew yeah. the magic symbol with a sharpie on a white t-shirt and then I cut it out and then just hand sewed it onto a piece of oh. silky fabric and that was like my costume with the witch hat perfect Cute. so yeah so yeah <laughs> beginner status over here and that was probably like yeah I don't I don't have a many cosplays but I would say that one one of my first that I actually have photos of and it was like a legit character what about yes. what about you guys um so I've always been more like into costuming and not really like cosplay, I guess. Um, it wasn't until I joined the KDA group where they're like, oh, yeah, what's your cosplay? And I'm like, oh, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is, what? What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, like, this is my cos costume. Um, so, I mean, I am kind of a shyer person in general. So I think that's part of the like there where it's like yeah I've got like I made this this is cool but like the whole getting into a character and everything like that has always been deviation for me I guess um well also because your family hosts Halloween parties yeah every year and they're super into it like they they have competitions for multiple things they decorate yeah. their they deck out their house they in the inside and outside it's, Talk about it. Yeah, but no, it's huge. It's so cool. I grew up in a family where, um, um, like the Halloween party was like the big thing every year. Um, so and part of it was when my brothers were young. Um, like there was all kinds of drama about like how safe different things are around Halloween. You know, like the the razor blades and the candy. Oh yeah, yeah. And so, so I'm just trying to keep my brothers in a good direction for growing up. <laughs> um, my family created this huge um, like masquerade every year. So I would create a costume uh, like once a year essentially for this party. And, um, but whatever photos we got was whatever my mom could like take a picture with whatever camera she had. She always cut people's heads off, you know? <laughs> of course. As every mom of does, <laughs> you know? And, um, but so most of my photos are like from that, but like it wouldn't really extend out. And then going to like conventions with my dad and Danny and her dad and everything, like we would dress up, but like it was just a costume. Like maybe we would continue something out from like what we did the year before or something. But it she got an early start in her special effects makeup though. Cause she, there was mm -hmm. many Halloween parties where she did like, there was like one year where she had like a prosthetic nose because she wow. was like a, a black and white. Uh, I was a horror villain. So horror. I was like a snidely whiplash kind of character. No one recognized me that year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, like I even made the sign of like what the little like um, words would be on the screen for a black and white silent video or like movie uh, film. Um, so there was like mohaha and then the other Mwahaha. side. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's <laughs> it though. Yes. <laughs> and then the other side, I think, said like, curse is foiled again or Aww. something like that. Or you must pay the rent or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> and, um, but it was really fun. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of characters where I've tried to be something kind of wild. And, but it's always just been like a costume because it was for a Halloween party. And then I don't have many photos because it was just like for that event. Um, I don't think it was really until like the whole KDA thing where it's just like, oh, I, I guess I'm supposed to like act like this. I mean, I mm-hmm. kind of act like them at these parties, but it's just for like this mm-hmm. event. So well, you um, can do Halloween costumes, not at Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. So that's been kind of like my transition over the last like what five to seven or so years um, was just kind of trying to like, oh, well, I guess this does transition over. This makes sense. Like, I mean, I was um, a makeup artist for a while, but like for more like normal people looks. <laughs> and um, but Halloween was always super fun because you could do whatever you wanted with like this set of makeup. So um, so it was kind of a challenge where it's just like I'm only allowed these supplies and but I want to do this. So, um, and that was always really fun. And then like my dad, he was always like very involved in like horror and science fiction and fantasy, um, with art and, um, like even 3d art and stuff like that. He, like, I grew up with a house filled with masks of all of these monsters. Like I wouldn't go into the laundry room for a long time because there were some really scary masks out there. But I mean, I'm cool with them now, but, um, they're, (laughs) it's how you were raised, man. Okay. I was raised on Pikachu and she was raised with a horror mask. Yeah. Hiding in the laundry room. Like just, (laughs) let's just stay away from that room for now. (laughs) But to win hide and seek, hide in the laundry room and you'll never find us. (laughs) Yeah. Got it. Pretty much. Got it. Pull an ET and just stand against the (laughs) Yeah. No, and like my dad had like the attic just filled with all of his like old Fangoria magazines and his old masks and all these really cool things, which I of course didn't appreciate when I was younger because it was terrifying. But but now I just love it all. And so um yeah. So that's kind of how I've transitioned into cosplay, I guess. Like I guess probably my first real cosplay was probably Yang. Um Yang Jolong from Ruby, which Mm -hmm. um kind of an anime i think it's more u.s based like so American t- anime. yeah mm. um, so cool show. Oh, but yeah, really good but i mean i mean i've been playing video games for ages and normally i tend to go for like a brawler kind of character and she's like perfect for that mm-hmm. like she goes super saiyan she gets like she <laughs> punches everyone out but she's also got like these shotgun shells like i made these gauntlets out of like foam and like big nerf gun bullets oh. or whatever. <laughs> Love it. Um and I think that was actually the year that um I met Bear. Well, I started to get closer with Bears. Like I had already kind of met her with dancing and other things like that. But um but yeah, so I wore that one day and then I wore Harley um the other day and mm. That was that was the day where they actually like came up to both of us and were like, "You should apply for the masquerade. Like, you guys have such great costumes." I'm like, "Apply." Yeah. <laughs> as I'm like, <laughs> as I'm like, this isn't the costume I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So mm-hmm. <laughs> but, it's like, oh, which one would you like yeah. me to apply for? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I already had a plan. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. I'm saying that like um, I don't even know what those words mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. But um. But yeah. So probably I guess. Yang and that one was a mostly bought costume too where of course I mean I have to adjust everything because not everything fits the same as it does a fake character like the belt I think was made for someone that was just like super super tiny which doesn't make sense because the rest of the costume fit just fine Mm -hmm. so I replaced it with like a studded belt that um (laughs) Damn. That I yeah. mean, it, it fit the character really. She's yeah. a brawler. Like, yeah. of course, you need a studded belt. And, like, I think I changed a few other things, but for the most part, it was well, and I made the gauntlets myself, but for the most part, it was a pretty, like, bought and easy costume. But, like, I could actually be in character because I knew her really well and I, like, could relate for not necessarily, like, my personal life, but, like, my gaming kind of mm. life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but yeah. Rebecca, what's yours? I 
had a bit of a transition into cosplay too. It did not start there, but also to be fair, like cosplay wasn't a thing until like a few years ago, like all intents and purposes. You know what I mean? Like it, it was not mainstream. Now it's a multi-billion dollar long. industry. I know. And now you can make money doing it. Good I mean, job, to be, everyone. To yeah. be honest, it was like, I remember growing up, it was kind of embarrassing when I was just like, I'm, I'm getting out of school so I can go to a science fiction and fantasy convention right. and yeah you and wouldn't people, tell anybody unless you were really like you yeah. they were like maybe had some like oh they might have watched one show or they might have seen lord of the rings or lord yeah. of the rings came out but then, even but then, it was then like it breaker. felt it felt mm-hmm. super judgy like mm-hmm. so it was just like i wouldn't tell people for yeah. like it family obligation <laughs> family yeah. obligation yeah, yeah. Only the people close to you would ever know about it. Otherwise, yeah. you just don't talk about it. Yeah. So I totally understand that. Like, but it's suddenly it's it's so popular. So yeah. And my start with it before all of that. Well, before the before, I had the worst stage fright. Ever. Like, no way. Like, no. I don't believe that. Really, Our really modeling bad. lady. No, she like, does really everything. Bad. She acts <laughs> in I real do, movies. I do. Yes. And, but, but <laughs> kindergarten was a different story. Like we, <laughs> we had that whole like, oh, do a poem that's like four lines long, like Shel Silverstein, easy peasy. I learned it no problem. Like I knew what I was going to say, but I would not say it. Aww. I would not get up in front of the class. They had like to prove that I had completed the assignment. They had to video record me during recess when everyone was out of the room. <gasps> like I would not. Wow. I would not do it. I was very stage fright. And wow. so- and it got it got better, but I was never like comfortable with it. And then my school had like the eighth grade musical, which it wasn't just eighth graders. They had all the lead roles, but you know, sixth and seventh and stuff would be the chorus, whatever. Okay. And so I decided my mom's side of the family is very into musicals. And so <laughs> she kind of like pushed, and I'm very glad she did, to say, like, oh, I'll just be like in the chorus in like fifth grade. And so I auditioned my legs were shaken and oh. and everything but I did it and so I did the fifth grade I was like in the chorus sixth grade chorus seventh grade chorus eighth grade comes oh. along and you have to audition because everyone in the class is going to get a role and I remember like you could sing anything you wanted to and it didn't have to be like any any dancing or anything with it but I was one of the only ones to choose a song from the musical we were doing rather than just like any song you want. Oh, okay. But I was, and so I was strategic, but I was terrified. And so like my aunt was playing the piano for it and everything, but I was still so scared. I remember literally my knees knocking together, which I was just like, in my mind, I was like, this happens in cartoons, but it's actually happening in real life. What is this? What is my body doing? I'm being betrayed. And so (laughs) I'm being betrayed. And so, but then I got one of the leads. And I didn't know what to do about that. Like I was happy about it, but then I was also like, oh shit, (laughs) I can't back out of this now. And so I regret my decision. Exactly. Should I have not done this actually? And so it was, it was a really good experience. I found out that when I was on stage with all the lights on, you can't see anyone else. And so it didn't feel like everyone else was watching you. And so it was better. That makes it so much easier. It was better. And so Long story short, I got into acting. I took acting classes in high school, which were still terrifying, (laughs) but I did it. Um, But I also found my home in the backstage crew. Mm. Um, So I did stage crew before I would do any of like the acting stuff. Like I took the acting classes, but never did any shows. Um, So I was all behind the scenes, stage crew, stage crew, stage crew. Um, And then I auditioned for the play when I was a senior in high school. Um, And then I went on to do actually study acting in college. Um, But somewhere between there, while I was in high school, I was also in Japanese class. Mm. Um, So, um, and in there, of course, anime is big and people are talking about going to Sakura Khan. Yeah. Um, And I had no idea what that was. (laughs) Um, But everyone was going to go. Only the largest (laughs) anime convention in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it was like a big (laughs) deal and I had no idea. No idea at all. And so... We, um, a group of people wanted to do characters from Bleach. Mm. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so That's cool. It was, it was good. I, they, I was kind of like voluntold to do Orihime from Bleach. Um, it was bought. It was my first ever like cosplay <laughs> kind of thing. Like didn't fit great. It was like 
run of the mill. It still smelled like plastic kind of a thing. Oh, okay. um, and, but I, I went to soccer con that year. I went the next year, made some adjustments, but still nothing like high tier. And I just didn't have fun. Mm. Like it wasn't bad. Like I really liked the masquerades that they would do. And I liked some of the parties and like the, the raves, even though, you know, they're as ravey as you can get when you're was it, a minor. Was it because you went with like kind of a stranger group? You didn't have like your no. own people that you went with? Or? That's the thing. So I went with people that I knew, but we weren't super close. Oh, okay. And so I still didn't feel like I had a home base. And so I ended up kind of wandering around on my own, which you should not do. If you're a minor at a con, don't do that. Yeah. Um, and so it just, it didn't click quite yet. Um, and so I backed away from cons just because it just wasn't doing it for me. Um, and then in college, I went back to Sakura Khan as Misty. Because I was like, I have most of this in my closet. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> um, and it was fun, but, you know, whatever. And then um, later on, I was reading the X-23 comics just, like, for myself for fun. Um, and I was like, oh, to beat her. <laughs> like, I need, <laughs> I need her. And I, I was not in a good spot. And she was, like, everything that embodied strength and, like, perseverance. And I was like, I need to be in your skin right now. Um, wow. And so I pieced it together. Then. Not in a creepy way at all. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe. Maybe, like, Elisa could hook me up with, like, prosthetics <laughs> to become. <laughs> yeah. um, and so I pieced together stuff from, like, I had a tank top that I like cut in half and <laughs> got leggings off of Amazon and like pieced stuff together um, and had a friend make her claws out of like real aluminum metal, which you yeah. cannot do at <laughs> conventions anymore. <laughs> that um, is a weapon. But they yeah. didn't stop you me at the get, time. Is it peace bonded. Good, yeah, peace you bond. can't they get did. those peace bonded. <laughs> they did peace bond like the palm piece, but then I would just like crumple it up and put it in my palm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, so I, I had real metal claws. They were not is, sharp, but they is, were heavy. Oh, is it okay. the point of peace bonding to like lock it so it's not usable? And yes. like there's not really a way to yes. do that for claws. No. Yeah. So it was complicated. <laughs> it was before things got real finagle and fancied. Um, <laughs> but so I did that and it was it that's when it clicked. Mm. For me, I was like, this is what cosplay is about. And that's when I first made my Instagram page and I only did X23 for like a couple of years and then Canary happened, I think, next, and that's when I met you. And so that's kind of, that was, was the there. snowball of everything. <laughs> so I had a weird, like, semi-start and then a revisit, but not quite. And then the actual start of, like, cosplay, rather than just dressing up to attend a convention, it was like, oh, now I'm a cosplayer. So And now she's all in. So now I'm all in. in. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. did Tomb Raider happen? Because I think that was the first time I actually kind of met you. Yeah. It was at PAX, and I was yep. just as Molina. Yeah. Which was the most like showy costume I have ever had. So that was interesting. Ooh, yeah. Girl spicy. <laughs> yeah. But it was also really cool because I actually like drew the teeth on my face. Um, but yes. I was also super embarrassed about it. So I was like covering, uh, like I had the mask that she wears, which I made myself out of like scrap fabric or whatever. I was like, oh, this is good enough. We're professionals here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. And, but like, it would be one of those where I'd be walking around every once in a while, I'd just like flash my face and people were like, flashing <gasps> people your face. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a lot of it is I needed that. like, I'm the shy one. Yeah. Let me yeah. flash people in yes. the convention. But it's Bunny like, just. I think it. <laughs> I think I needed that like mask to like not make me feel so insecure about like the tiny little like one piece that I was wearing that was like extra showy. Like mm -hmm. it was way showier than everything else that I've ever worn, but it looks so good. Um, and, but I don't really have many photos of it. Cause it was just like, I, it was my first time going to PAX. I was just kind of trying to feel it out and everything. And, but I, that was the first time I saw you mm. as Tomb Raider. I was like, Oh, and that was like fun and everything because yeah. like she's, you know, down in the dirt kind of gal. And like I would literally go roll in the dirt. What? And like I had one like for my face and stuff, I didn't want dirt on my face. And so like I had cocoa powder and I would just go. <laughs> on my face. And so I smelled like chocolate. It was great. Perfect. But like for me, cosplay was the perfect combination of acting, of modeling, because I had done a little bit of modeling and of geekiness, like games and stuff. And so it was just like, this makes perfect sense. Where, where has this been my whole life? Um, <laughs> so it made a lot of sense to me, but yeah, you, you saw me in my like second for reals cosplay. Uh -huh. So yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, I was just thinking that she's been doing this her whole life. Like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what, how did you get into it? 
have long backstories. <laughs> so um, do you. You've been doing it for quite a while. Yeah. I mean, your family has know. like big party background yeah, too. You so, throw the so, best parties. Yeah. Yeah. The best. Thanks. It's true. That whole all out mentality. Keep and it's <laughs> like, I know, <laughs> I know. Cause like my family is mostly just like the Halloween parties. Whereas like your family, it was like every kind of party. Every oh, weekend. did the sun yeah. come up? Perfect. Yeah. Invite everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the party starts at six. Why are they here at six? We're like, we're still setting up. <laughs> like that's how parties go, right? That's mm-hmm. been an adjustment for me is like when people say, oh, come at six, a lot of times they mean that. And I'm not used to that. I'm exactly. Like, Same. I'm like, like, wait, <laughs> six is a suggestion. No, yeah. six is when I'm going to start setting up my house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like I'm still halfway through my makeup. Don't come right. at six. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently that's not time? true. You have to go at six if they say six. Mm. Yeah. Mm. See, I, I err in the right. opposite direction. I'm like chronically early to things and I'm actively <laughs> working on it. Like it's problematic. I'll be the weird one sitting in my car being like, oh, it's too early still. <laughs> <laughs> it's too awkwardly early to yeah, go. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, it's not so <laughs> acceptable to be here yet. As me and Bears are like, we're fashionably And late. that's on <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> I guess you could be we have the fashionably early one and the chronic fashionably late ones. <laughs> and yeah. together, <laughs> with our power in the time. Yep. Oh, I can be a little late, but I can also hang out with Rebecca yeah. a little longer. I'm so <laughs> down to hang out. I'll blast tunes. As like, we'll me chill. and Bears are like still doing our makeup in the car on the way over. <laughs> like, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I, just, I know, like, I'm just like waiting minutes. for you to text, like, oh, I'm gonna be 45 minutes late. I'm like, I don't have to say anything. <laughs> It's not like 15 minutes late. It's like 45 to two hours late. Okay, we do live a ways away. That's so. true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you gotta pass. Fair. It's all good, girl. <laughs> but so yes, tell us your backstory. Come on, man. <laughs> so, um, I didn't actually get into anything. Like, so I <laughs> didn't get into anything <laughs> ever. I didn't get into any trouble. Just, I don't even know how I got invited like on this show, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, I didn't get into like video games or comic books or nerdy tv really i watched pokemon as a kid who didn't um apparently me <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. sorry this girl um but i've seen some recently golf clap <laughs> golf clap <laughs> 30 um, years later <laughs> probably to the end of college though i didn't get end into anything until the end of college so i had never played a video game really like Late maybe bloomer. if I went over to somebody's house and they happened to have something, maybe I would like play around with uh, Soul Calibur or something. But not really. We were more kind of like go outside kind of family. Um, and so my parents throw a lot of social events, which is great. So I am socialized. Um, <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> believe Yay. it or not. Um, and so my dad, like growing up, would always throw these. Mm, throw is the wrong word. He would set up these really elaborate Halloween events and every year would have a different theme. Um, and it would be kind of a conglomeration of our, our house was where it was going to be, but it would be pulling talents from all the neighbors and my dad's friends and everybody. And so he would have people like, say it was a clown theme or a carnival theme, Mm. Halloween. He would have people dressing up as clowns and with chainsaws and they would have carnival games that people could play and like the house would be done up in such a way that it was an experience and people would come from like towns away to come to our house to like be scared and like participate wild (laughs) that's amazing yeah so uh, like How did he do that without like a production team to help him? Well, it kind of was. So they would be planning this for months. It wasn't like a week before Halloween. Like, oh, we should probably. Was it your family or did he have like a group? It was him and his friends mostly. But I was, I mean, I was there. It sounds like a really (laughs) good like network of people essentially. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. And so I learned a lot through that of, okay, these things take time to put together. You have to be planning ahead if you want it to look like this, here are the things that you need to take care of first. And also a big thing that was important and is important to my household in general is if you're going to do it, do it right. So respect. Sure. You want it to look like this. 
But what if it looked like this and also lit up a little from the back? Wouldn't that make it a little bit more realistic and fun? Great. How do we do that? And also That's the so deadlines cool. then. So, <laughs> <laughs> so hey, good luck. I yeah, can't say yeah. that I'm like 100% like perfect at doing that, but it is kind of like the approach that I take to things. So in that sense, it's t- tangentially cosplay related. Like that's how like my approach kind of got built. And so it was Halloween's, but it was also like if my school put on a dance or something, like my eighth grade dance, my dad helped put together like this whole pirate theme. And so it wasn't just like things stuck to the wall. There was like this cool like skeleton with a treasure chest and like the whole like little, I don't know, closet that it was in. It made you feel like you were actually sitting in Pirates of the Caribbean. Like it was cool. And there was like, like a, I just brag about my dad. (laughs) <laughs> um, dad if you're watching okay we have some really cool dads okay I mean, true you know, like, true and it was like we're like the same person but like from different states yeah like it's wild that it took us like what 25 years or so to like meet each other <laughs> yeah your guys's stories like they have different bases but it's the same trajectory mm-hmm. yeah That's so cool <laughs> yeah so i have all this like knowledge in my brain of like here's how you would do it if you wanted to Um, but I just didn't really have that like catalyst yet of, okay, what do I do with this? Um, so mm, I read a lot of books as a kid. Um, I was definitely not like a sports person. I got really that surprises me. <laughs> right. I feel competitive. Like, yeah, so, <laughs> I feel like you would just like tear it up on the soccer field. Yeah, or like punching like people out and like, kicking <laughs> basketball, doing too. those That's slide mine. tackles that yeah. you can't do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she does not have any anger management issues. We just like teasing her. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> she is so sweet. They're she working me up like I'm some kind of rage machine. <laughs> no, she's just like she's very just all out or nothing. Kind yeah. of just a regular yeah, so. machine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Laser. But you like you choose strong characters now, I noticed though, too. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's where my assumption came from of like sports. I was like, strong characters make perfect sense. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I'm real good at sports. I have played all the sports. I was on the basketball team and volleyball and soccer and t-ball and I don't know if I ever did softball. Probably Ru- running, running. Uh, <laughs> track. But if my brother and sister are watching right now, they are <laughs> not. They're crying on the floor from laughing. So hard. <laughs> Like you're putting yourself in like a hair robe right now to try to cover up what's happening right now. Don't look at me. Here's the thing, I've tried. A hair uh, robe. I, I want <laughs> the people on like who are listening who can't see this. Bears is just like she's pulled her hair forward and is kind of like wrapping herself in her hair <laughs> to try to hide from all of this. Trying to hide her brothers and sisters. Yeah, if you want to see it, check the YouTube channel. It's great. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I don't do sports, uh, <laughs> um, but um, I don't even remember where I was going with that. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so instead of doing sports in high school, I did stage crew as well, hey. and I was really involved uh, really involved in theater, and so me and my friends basically lived in their high school theater, um, and like getting really into the lighting and microphones and bossing people around, which I never do now. <laughs> 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 um and like that whole thing is also super fun and again like the more technical side of it is much more appealing to me than the acting side we did get all of their stage crew friends did get forced to act in one of the plays i think it was harvey that we got forced to act in and i was like a receptionist at a hotel <laughs> yikes it was <laughs> not a good look for me um what why not? Because I couldn't remember the lines. I had one line and I couldn't remember it. <laughs> it's probably because oh, no. it just wasn't the right role for you. Like mm-hmm. you needed someone yeah. stronger to yeah. like really feel your role. I That's think. it. That's probably yeah. it. You couldn't mm-hmm. identify with the receptionist. <laughs> yeah. What was their motivation? What's yeah. my motivation? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would never stay in this hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're nice. signing into this trash hole. Okay. <laughs> Tell the cockroaches I say hi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I just am not very comfortable on stage. It's fair. Mm, not for me. I'm not, like, it was just funny. Like I'm not, I'm pretty confident in general. I'm not 
nervous in most situations. But for whatever reason, like, this is kind of why I'm not going to, I don't see myself ever competing in cosplay. I don't want to be on the stage. Mm-hmm. I have no interest in it. Um, but it's fun to make crafts. So and you could because you were trying. talented enough. Mm, well, maybe, but I'd have to be on stage. <laughs> we'll videotape you during recess. It'll be fun. <laughs> yes. And then we'll submit your video and you'll win. Perfect. It'll be perfect. perfect. Agreed. Uh, I can help with your makeup. It'll be great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. So my first co- so my first convention was when I moved up to Washington. Most of my life I lived in California. I went to college in California. I moved up to Washington um, after I graduated. Um Took up dancing, met my husband, and we went to a convention together when we first started dating. And that was the first convention I had ever been to. I didn't even realize that conventions were even a thing. So, like, for you guys to say that you have went to conventions since infancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. I didn't even know they were a real thing. No. I think I went to, like, uh, I don't know, Dickens Fair or something, but never anything like... <laughs> I went to the zoo. <laughs> right, right. The talent show. Yeah. As me and Danny are like, well, this, not everyone does that. <laughs> this was normal life for us. No. So like so far removed that I didn't even realize that going to conventions would be an awkward thing because I didn't even realize they were a thing. So like, mm. Mm, sure. Okay. So mm-hmm. that, so I went to a convention and my first convention, okay. So I am like the embodiment of FOMO. Fear of missing out. Aww. So if it looks fun, I want to be there. I want to go. I want to do the thing. And everybody at this convention who was dressed up like co- fun comic book characters looked like they were having so much more fun than the people who were there with like their t-shirts and their fanny packs. So I was like, <laughs> I need to dress up. Why are you hating on the fanny packs? I know. <laughs> Utility belts. I'm just saying belts. you'll have more fun with a sword than a fanny pack. Yeah, that's also true. 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 Cannot argue against that. But there's no pockets in a sword. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I bet I could help you build a pocket into your sword. Okay, there you go. I, I think I need that. <laughs> uh, it's called a sheath. it's a sword pocket yeah exactly that's fine pocket (laughs) so basically that was it i went to a convention everyone else looked like they were having fun i wanted to have fun i got into cosplay here we are fair enough um so that was i think in 2015 um and it was after i had met danny before i had met bunny and so my first convention that I cosplayed at, I cosplayed, it's a long story I'll tell later, but I ended up cosplaying as Black Canary and I had so much fun. I was right. It is so much more fun to go to a convention dressed up. <laughs> um, and then my second ever convention was with you guys and I did Wonder Woman. Aww. But yeah, so, and it's, that's how it's been ever since. Kind of like. Just decided this is my this is my life now. So. <laughs> Love that. There was there was no ramp up. It was just <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's not there. a dimmer switch on or off. Only uh-huh. on or off. Only Got on it. or off. Got Which it. Which is funny because most hobbies, like if I'm not immediately good at it, I just give up and do something else. Mm. And this one, for whatever reason, there's mm. so much to learn, and I like you'll never stop learning new things. That it was like okay, I wasn't good at that but I could do this instead and still be successful. So I think that like having so many, like if you're learning an instrument and you're not good at that instrument, you just have to keep working. And that's not something that. Or you could switch to a different instrument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you never play an instrument again. (laughs) True. I've also learned lots of instruments. You're the band kid. I absolutely am not. That's why I do cosplay. Oh. <laughs> uh, I have switched instruments. I just am, uh, if I'm not good at it instantly, I just. Uh, instantly. Yeah. 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 That's keyword. <laughs> <laughs> Instant. Word of the day, people. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about where we are now with our yeah. cosplay situation because it's quite different than. Well, mine's not, but your guys' are <laughs> quite different from when you started. 
I don't know, Danny. I think we need to have a side by side of your first cosplay versus your last cosplay that we just did. It would yeah. be a question mark because there was no photo because I couldn't even take the photo. Where <laughs> 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 now I'm like, mm. that's right. Mm. I don't Confident. Know. Pose, 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 pose. I'm pose, Jojo. Pose. pose. I'm still like, what do I do with my hands? Rebecca, always. Tell me. It's always the hands. That is the question. Of I just the sit here like, what would Rebecca do? Yes. Oh, geez. She and Rebecca's just, thinking, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you, Bears, tell us where you are now? I just am working on Merida. From Brave, but I'm actually right now I'm right now I'm in the middle of taking all of the Disney princesses and figuring out what time period they were written for and figuring out where they were written for geologically and getting armor inspired by that when and where and putting that princess in that armor. So I did Snow White in like an English Germanish um armor set. And it's so pretty. And Your so attention like, to detail, like, even with the historic, like, geography of everything, like, that's so cool. Thank you. It's so cool. So right now I'm working cool. on Merida. Uh, and so I'm doing kind of like a, a Viking version of Merida. I have the core costume down, but I need to work on the shield and bow and arrow. And I've been working with an Instagram friend on how to make that arrow bow happen. So that's been really fun. Um don't expect anything in the near future, though. It is a, <laughs> it's a slow process. <laughs> what but happens? that's what I'm working on mostly right now. Um, and also various cyberpunky things and also various dance team related things. So just lots of I always have lots of little pots boiling. We'll see what ha we'll see what I end up stirring first. <laughs> I love that. I, mm -hmm. I usually have a couple of pots boiling and. Part of me misses the days when it was one pot at a time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was very calm. Those were the calm days. Um, no, cosplay is very different to me now. Because mm -hmm. um, it it is a side income. It is not an income <laughs> for me yet, at least. And I don't think it ever will be. And I don't expect it to. And part of me doesn't really want it to ever become a primary income or even have that be a goal because I want it to be my hobby, not my job. Mm -hmm. But it's great that I can make some money on a hobby. Mm -hmm. Um... So now I, I do it a lot. I have more cosplays than I have storage bins <laughs> for. It's oh. becoming problematic. Um, over 20 at least. Um, a lot. Um, recently, I'm trying to think of what the most recent like completed one was. Because again, there's so many pots where I was like, which one actually <laughs> came first? The chicken or the egg? Um, the most like complete recent one was probably Yennefer from the Witcher series. Um, I also did Padme. Star Wars, um, her Coliseum oh, outfit. Nice. Um, and upcoming, I typically keep that private, um, but there is another Witcher cosplay in the works of a certain redhead, which like should give it away if, if you watch <laughs> any of the Witcher at all. Oh, I'm so um, excited. So I'll be like a couple people from the Witcher series, um, but also working on dance choreography and, and the outfits that will go along with that. So a couple things going fun. on, a couple things going on. What about you, Bunny? Um, so for me, I've got a lot of like half ideas. <laughs> um, <it> so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so like I have all of these ideas of like makeup that I want to do, but like no plans for like any costume or anything that matches it, um, which I probably should think about too. Um, but, um, I guess still kind of working with dance stuff and kind of what's to come with some of those ideas. Um, I've got a few costume ideas that I should actually be able to throw together like pretty quick and easy just from like Goodwill or Value Village visits. I just need to actually do it. Um, but for the most part, like I have a bunch of makeup ideas that I want to play around with. Um, so hopefully those will you spoil one of them. Um, so, for example, one of my favorite movies is Trick or Treat. And I love Sam and Aww. I actually do kind of have like the rest of the out, like the outfit for it, it was like a bot outfit just to complete the look essentially. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to do his unmasked face. So that that's should be awesome. Crazy. That should be really fun. Yeah. Um, so I'll try that at some point. Um, I just need to get the motivation to get that done. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to try to get it done by this Halloween? You think, is that going to be your next Halloween? 
Uh, I think debut. Yeah. Honestly, that's <laughs> more likely to happen before Crypticon. So within Ooh, the next couple wow. months. So that'd be cool. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna be for Halloween this year. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but I have a lot of ideas and plans coming up, and with the makeup side of things. So hopefully, Dang. I can expand my experience and ability soon. Nice. <laughs> so, yep. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. I don't really have any cosplays planned right now, um, but I'm working on the production side of this podcast, <laughs> so I'm still working on figuring out Twitch. Yeah, yeah. So, so we can the world, the so we can yeah. stream yeah. various things <laughs> going on. So it's been a, a lot of learning, but like you said, with the technical stuff, but like the stage crew like I, I never was in stage crew but I think that's something I would have really enjoyed because this stuff is it's like it's so technical and you're just constantly learning and I just like all the gear too mm -hmm. like <laughs> the lights yeah are, like <laughs> so cool the feeling of having power tools in your hands just oh <laughs> so much power. power so much power it's danger so fun. <laughs> <laughs> danger it's dangerous i have a cut like i have a scar on my finger from a saw like oh my and gosh. i am so proud of it i was just like yes yes, <laughs> yes here we go i was not proud of it at the time yeah <laughs> but now it's it's cool no copycat trophy. scars please yeah please yeah. don't do that be, be practice safe woodworking <laughs> ladies yeah. and gents yep. yeah you guys play with nerf guns we pretend that our drills are guns so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's all that i have going on right now what's on our next episode so in our next episode we'll give our advice for beginners getting into cosplay um from choosing a character to um the essential tools and budget friendly options and check out our instagram to see our latest cosplay photos join our patreon for fun exclusive content like newsletters digital downloads behind the scenes videos photos and prints mailed to you you might get to see our KDA dance team. Ooh. Thanks for watching. We'll see Goodbye. You next time. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Cut. Scene. Wrap. End. <laughs> <laughs>